Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you have a list of names with the prefix salutations in Excel and you want to remove the salutations from the names and only keep the names, you can use various functions and techniques to remove salutations from name strings in Excel. In today's video, we will show you four operations on a name list consisting salutation and names. 1. Remove salutation from a list of names by formula. 2. Remove salutation from a list of names by VBA code. 3. Split the salutation and name into different columns by text to columns feature. 4. Split the salutation and name into different columns by formula. Remove salutations from a name list by formula. Assuming your name strings are in column A, you can use column B to store only the names. In cell B2, assuming row 1 is for column headers, enter the following formula. Type equals right, select cell A2 to input the first argument, type len and select cell A2, enter minus, type find, and enter double quotes, press space, enter double quotes, select A2. This formula uses the write function to extract the name from the right side of the string only, based on the number of characters given by the length function minus the find function. The length function outputs the length of the strings in cell A2. The find function finds the position of the space which is used to separate the salutation and name. The expression length minus find returns the length of the substring starting after the space. The write function extracts a substring from the text string in cell A2, starting from the character after the space whose length is given by the expression, that is, the name. Drag the formula down to apply it to all the cells in column B, corresponding to your name strings in column A. Column B should now display the name strings without the salutations. You can hide or delete column A if you no longer need it. Remove salutation from a name list through VBA code. You can also use the VBA code to remove the salutations. Here's how you can use this code. Click Developer in the ribbon, click Visual Basic or you can also press Alt plus F11 to open the Visual Basic editor. Insert a new module by right-clicking on Worksheet, select, Insert, and then, Module. Paste the code into the Module window. Press Ctrl plus S to save the module. Close the Visual Basic editor. Click Macro or press Alt plus F8 to open the, Macro, dialog box. Select the, Remove Salutation, Macro from the list and click, Run. A dialog box will appear to prompt you to select the range of cells that contain the names. Select the name list, and click OK. The salutations will be removed from the names in the specified range. Make sure to save your workbook before running the macro to avoid losing any data. Split the salutation and name into different columns by text to columns feature. To split salutation and name into different columns in Excel, you can use the text to columns feature. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you. Select the column containing the name strings that include salutations. Go to the Data tab in the Excel ribbon and click on Text to Columns. In the Text to Columns wizard that appears, choose the Delimited option and click Next. Select the delimiter that separates the salutation from the name. This could be a space, comma, tab, or any other character that consistently separates the salutation from the name in your data. If the salutation is followed by a space, select the, space, checkbox. You can also specify additional delimiters if needed. Click, next, when done. Choose the column data format. Choose the destination for the split data. You can select an existing column or create new columns to store the salutation and name separately. Then click Finish. Excel will split the salutation and name into separate columns based on the chosen delimiter.
Split the salutation and name into different columns by formula. In addition to the text to column function, you can also split the salutation and name strings into different columns using formulas in Excel, and you can use a combination of the left and mid functions. You can do this by following these steps. Assuming the salutations and names are stored in columns B and C. In cell B2, enter the following formula to extract the salutation from cell A2. Equals left, A2, find, space, A2, minus 1. In this example, the salutation and name are separated by a single space. The find function finds the position of the space in cell A2 and the left function extracts the characters to the left of it, representing the salutation. Drag the formula down the column to apply it to the remaining cells. In cell C2, enter the following formula to extract the name from cell A2. Equals mid, A2, find, space, A2, plus 1, len, A2. The mid function in Excel is used to extract a specific number of characters from a text string, starting at a specified position. This formula extracts a substring from the text string in cell A2, starting with the character after the first occurrence of a space and spanning the length of the text in cell A2, representing the name. Drag the formula down the column to apply it to the remaining cells. Now you have the salutations and names split into separate columns, columns B and C, respectively, based on the original string in column A. This approach assumes that the salutation and name are separated by a single space character. If the format of your data differs, you may need to adjust the formulas accordingly.